Good morning, super cool party people. Welcome to the vlog. It is early, it is just after 8, and I actually woke up at 8 o'clock before my alarm went off. Well, just before 8, because it was set to go off at 8 o'clock, so I'm really impressed. I'm still a little sleepy, obviously, but there we are. I also am just realizing or remembering that I had weird dreams about the theater. Like, I guess in my dream theater, we had bookshelves everywhere that had books on loan from the library and then books that people had left to us and we decided to just clear them all out. <laughs> there were also some vending machines that were waiting to be installed that were in the <laughs> woman's washroom for some reason. Like, between the toilet and the stall wall and there's no way they would fit. That was weird. And then something about me growing my hair and then shows. I don't know. There's a lot of weird stuff going on, but I don't even know. So I am just getting ready to go to work now. Um, hopefully just a short shift today, but like I said yesterday, I got to figure out how many hours I have left because I got to get my hours in this week. So we will see what happens, but got to pack up my bag now. Whoop. And, um, have grabbed and get my breakfast drink ready to go and all my snacks and stuff and then we'll um we'll see how the day goes from here alrighty so I'm at the theater the red canvas is doing its thing again <laughs> but in very exciting news there was nobody and nothing at that back door when I came in today and it has been weeks of either people or just shopping carts and mass massive amounts of garbage at that back door so it was so exciting except somebody did put tape over the lock like the keyhole so that was interesting fortunately my key was able to puncture it so that's exciting I am here at the theater now obviously look at my beautiful things I have painted they're so nice <laughs> I do have to clean the tops today because I got like TSP all over them and stuff while I was prepping everything but I think my, my painting, I believe, is done. This week is just gonna be a lot of random bits and bobs and because my future is uncertain. So, gotta clean all the things that I made a mess and we'll go from there. In all fairness, I think there's a few doors that I missed when I was painting. I can't remember which ones they are, but I definitely walked past and I was like, ah, I missed that door, but I can't remember what it is. Until I remember what it is, I can't really do anything about it, but that's fine, it is about 10 to 9 now i had my breakfast drink at home um because i was up so early like i was up before my alarm and then i just had so much time so i'm gonna go i guess just get ready to start the day and i don't know if there'll be anyone in today or not we'll find out <laughs> and yeah that's where we're at i'm feeling great though i'm feeling wide awake which is impressive considering like i said i was up before my alarm but we're going backwards I've been wanting to get up at like 8 and it worked. <laughs> Tomorrow I have to get up at like 6 if I want to go into work though because my mom works at 7. So we'll see how that goes. And again, I need to figure out my hours like I mentioned yesterday. I have somewhere in the vicinity of 18 hours, but I actually need to do the math and figure out how many hours I actually have to not go over and also to not shortchange myself. But we'll see what happens going forward because today was the first day that businesses could apply for the wage grant subsidy, which covers 75% of your employee's salary. So if we get that, then I think I get to keep working and maybe I can do more painting and stuff because it's not like we're open yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hard to be open when you can't have gatherings of like more than 50 people. Anyways, I'm gonna go now and um, check in with you on the way. Alrighty, so I am home now and we're gonna get these curtains open even though it is a pouring rain outside. But once I get my stupid blackout blinds that I hate by the way up, the world is legitimately a brighter print brighter place. I almost fell down because I was straddling my sewing machine <laughs> to do that. My room's a mess. I see this and you know what? I don't even care right now. <laughs> I just got home from work and I am so hungry so I have changed obviously. It's like the first thing I do when I get home is I don't want to be in my work clothes anymore and then I feed myself <laughs> and feeding needs to happen. It is probably 1 30 now yes yeah, just after my mom got me this calendar thing for 
my stocking for Christmas and I hate it so much for the simple reason that these things just fall out all the time. I'm already missing one and I don't ever use it. Anyways, we'll find those pieces later. But yeah, so I am going to feed myself and then after that I'll probably try to figure out what my plan of action is for the day. It will definitely have to include editing a vlog because I did vlog yesterday, but we will see when that happens or if it happens in time for my self-imposed four o'clock deadline. <laughs> also at work I was painting other things that I found like some trim and some doors and one door I painted it and then I kept going back and looking at it and I'm not sure it was the same paint color so I may have to find some time to paint an entire door at least the front um, before the end of the week so that's exciting but it's fine so I'm gonna go now get some food in my face and then figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Maybe nothing, who knows? As it turns out, I am dying a little bit. I've had a bit of a headache for most of the day. I thought food would make it better, but now it's worse and like my neck is kinked here. So I think that's the main issue because it's right here that hurts. I've gotten very tired. So I think I'm gonna put on a movie and lay in bed for a bit and see if that makes things better and just kind of hope for the best. But yeah, this is not cool. And I was like so stoked that I got up early and now I'm like, oh. anyways. That's the current plan. Beyond that, I still don't have anything planned. I feel like I should probably work on masks today though because I ordered some fabric and it's coming tomorrow, so I should probably get ahead before I get behind again. I'm really excited for some of this fabric. One has octopi on it. <sighs> Anyways, um, so I think I'm gonna chill for a bit and hope that I just feel more human in short order. Wow, my brain is stuttering. <laughs> Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. It is the next day. I just kind of died yesterday a bit. I mentioned that I had a headache, so I decided to have a nap. The nap was short. It was like half an hour, but it was really deep, and that helped me feel more awake, but it did not get rid of the headache because it was like a tension headache from my muscles, and everything was terrible. I got through dinner and watched most of a movie, and then I was like... I need to go to sleep. And I went upstairs and I realized I hadn't edited the vlog from the day before. So I was like, I guess I have to edit this. So I edited that. And then I was in bed probably by 10, 9.45, 10. I was just done for the day. And um, I slept pretty well. I think I got just about seven hours of sleep, which is pretty good considering it's not even 7 a.m. right now and I am at work. So that's good. I feel much better today. The headache has gone. I feel awake and rested, but I mean, I fell into that trap yesterday. I felt awake and rested and then I died a little and had to have a nap. But this is where we're at. I did absolutely nothing yesterday because I just felt so terrible. So I'm hoping that today will be better. My intention is to work for a full eight hours today because then I only need one more six hour shift, thinking, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I get bored basically. But I think I mentioned in one of the clips from yesterday that I touched up a door to paint it and then I realized afterwards that I wasn't sure if it was the correct paint color. I just checked it. It is minutely lighter than the color that is on the door, but it is enough that it is noticeable. And unfortunately, it is a door that faces into the lobby so people will see it, so I need to fix that today. And I think that might actually be the first thing I work on, just get it done with and out of the way and so it can dry and all that. So that's fun. Got to paint the whole door because there were like three little areas that I touched up, but it's noticeable to me and that's what matters because I will see it every time I work. So I guess I'll do that first thing and then kind of see where my day takes me. I still have to do some of that cleanup I mentioned yesterday, like all these surfaces. How was their paint on this? I didn't paint this recently. Anyways. There's paint chips on the thing you're sitting on and I don't understand why, but yeah, these surfaces, the table surfaces and anything that's been painted, the surfaces. So that's on the books for today and uh, we'll just, we'll see where we go from there. But I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and just get ready to do a bunch of painting on that stupid door. Well, hello, I just got home and um, haven't even changed yet, which is not typical for me. I usually change right away, but it's, it's mail day. <laughs> that is a lot. So it's some fabric and it's some ribbon. And the ribbon, one I think was supposed to come Thursday and then the rest, the other two were supposed to come on separate days next week and they all came today. But I knew the fabric was coming today. 
So that is exciting. Number one, 100 yards of this like pinky blush offre fabric. And by fabric, I mean ribbon. Number two, 20 yards of this red offre ribbon. Got it right that time. Where did I put the? Already lost the ribbon. We found it again. And number three, 100 yards of this baby blue ribbon. <laughs> I have another 20 yards of like a uh, navy coming, but that's fine. Anyways, I am set for ribbon now. I still have some of my ribbon left and like those ones I was buying were only 10 yards. So we're set, more than set. I'm gonna need to find things to make with ribbon. And now my fabric, which I got from Birdie and Dot Fabrics. So I got, I think one yard of this one here. I think it's like called sea glass or something. It's got little anchors and seahorses and starfish on it. I figured this would be a good lining material because it's pretty plain. I got, I think, a yard of these squirrels because, come on, those are the cutest. I got another yard of this, like, woodlandy fabric. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Mostly things were on sale. I got half a yard of this with seahorses on it, mostly for my mom because she likes seahorses a lot. She has a seahorse tattoo. And then I was really really wanting to get fabric with an octopus on it. I don't know why, I just really want it to. And I found one. It's not 100% what I was looking for, but I'm pretty happy with it. Anyways, those are my new fabrics. I'm gonna wash them tomorrow and then I'll be able to make more masks. I think today I'm gonna try to get through those 13 masks that I have cut and also clean up my room because we are just looking a disaster everywhere in my opinion just we're not we're not doing all right well I just made that mess but yeah so that is the plan I'm not gonna go into work tomorrow I haven't decided if I want to go Thursday Friday or Saturday yet but I only have six hours left also I was painting something so I had to paint that door because the color was slightly off I think I need to put a second coat on it because there were a few areas where it looked a little bit off still but then I was painting the inside of a windowsill because I had repaired it because it was all damaged and everything. And the second I had contact, I was like, this is not the right color. But I painted the whole thing because I was like, maybe I'll see if I can find the lighter color or else it'll just be like a shadow box situation. My intention would be eventually to paint that entire wall, but who knows if we'll have time or not. Time will tell. Anyways, I need a snack because I am starving. So I'm gonna get a snack and I guess I'll show my mom these fabrics cause I'm sure she'll be very excited to see what I got. Yay. Oh, well, hello, some time has passed. It is almost seven now. I think I'm having an allergic reaction cause my face just got really itchy for no reason all of a sudden, like especially right here. I put some cream on it and it has not had any effect. So I just took some allergy medicine. So we'll, We'll see what happens. Anyways, I've got my sewing machine set up here. I have all my linings. I have all my ribbons. <laughs> and I'm going to start doing, putting the ribbons on the linings, I guess. And then the next stage will be just sitting here and assembling all the masks and then doing the next phase of sewing and then turning them all out and then sewing them again. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of these tonight because putting on the ribbons is quite the task because there's four of them. Also, especially with the longer ones, I usually have to give them an extra trim. So like yesterday when I cut them, I sealed all the ends with flame. Um, but because of the way I put them on, because I put them up a little bit higher than the pattern says, I usually have to trim them a bit so they can go at a bit of a diagonal and then I have to seal them again. But we'll see how it goes. We're just going to get into this, I suppose. I think I'm going to listen to an audiobook, but part of me also wants to watch a movie, but I won't actually watch the movie, so it'd have to be something I've already seen before, so audiobook's probably the way to go, right? Well, <laughs> that took me like an hour to do, which is like, I don't know, math, six minutes, less than six minutes of math, which isn't too bad, especially because I was taking my time this is fun. I was taking my time and I was texting and whatnot. So all 13 mask linings now have their ribbons attached. So the next step is cutting all the threads because obviously I didn't want to stop and do that while I was doing it. So I'll cut all the threads and then I got to pin all these fronts to it. Technically what you should do, and I'm not an expert and this is why I'm not doing it, is you should fold over all your seams 
and press them flat. Ugh. This is why I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, so technically you should get these all open like this and press them with an iron all the way down so they're um, nice and flat on the inside. I have never done that. And honestly, it turns out pretty fine. You can see a bit there where it goes a different way, but honestly, it's pretty all right. So, like I said, next step is trimming all those strings, which let's see, 13 times eight, so that's like 104 strings that I have to trim. <laughs> is that right? No, it's gotta be more than that. So it's gonna be 208 cords that I have to, or strings that I have to trim because each one has two on each side. Yeah, fun time. So that's gonna take a while. I have been listening to an audiobook, but I think I'm going to switch to a movie or something while I do this. Also, I'm really, I'm super stoked for this constellation pattern. Ah! I'm gonna go now and I will check back in with you, hopefully, after having had some success. I need to get a smaller pair of scissors because these ones are not the greatest for trimming threads. I was gonna get some at Walmart the other day, but they weren't super cute, and I kind of want the really cute ones that look like storks or whatever, so that's on me. And now I will pay for it, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, back to work. Alrighty, so it is now 9.25, so I think it's been like an hour and a bit. <laughs> I did not do this the whole time, but six of my 12 masks are pinned. I say 12 because one of these linings somewhere has a hole in it, and so obviously that makes no sense to use that, so... That'll be nice because it'll actually give me a decent size scrap paper if I need to, scrap paper, scrap fabric if I need to test stitches and stuff because right now I am oh, English. Right now I only have really small ones. I'm going to call it for the night because this pinning is just like, ugh, it takes a while. Um, but I'm halfway there so tomorrow I can finish the pinning and then I can start doing the sewing. And while the sewing does take a while, it does not take nearly as long as this pinning process does because you got to put the lining to the exterior piece, right sides together, and then with the ribbon sandwiched on the inside. It's making sure the ribbon's in the right place and that you don't accidentally sew over part of it while you're sewing the outside is like one of the key things. Anyways, I think what I'm gonna do now is tidy up a bit. I'm watching a Netflix show. It's called Win the Wild. And it's basically this older couple has a homestead in Alaska and six British couples are competing to inherit it from this couple. It's really good. I quite enjoy it. Yeah, I think my favorite part was some of them went out with a wilderness guide and he was like, hey, does everyone remember what rule number one is? And everyone's like, don't die. And he's like, yes. And it is imperative that no matter what, you don't break rule number one, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. But yeah, so here's the other ones I have to pin. I'm gonna start puttering, I think, and cleaning up and getting ready for bed because I wanna try to get to sleep at a reasonable time tonight. Also, I've been up since six, so it's probably a good idea. Anyways, that's where we're at, and I'll check in with you before I pass out, hopefully. I know I'm getting tired and need to go to sleep because I just saw my camera and I was like, oh yeah, I need to turn off the vlog. No, I need to end the vlog. So this is me ending the vlog. It is now 20 after 10. I'm in my pajamas. I said I was gonna clean after that last clip and I definitely just went downstairs and sat there for a bit with my mom but then she had to go pick up her boyfriend from work because he doesn't have to stay over which is nice oh but yeah I am I am gassed I am so tired hopefully I'll sleep well tonight but honestly only time will tell but with that I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on these two days of <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow when I do very similar things <laughs> good night